would you say of all the guys that you either grew up watching or played with, mm -hmm. some of the best guys you ever saw on a football field other than yourself? Uh, you got Terry Anthony, you got a guy, uh, Antoine White, you know, I was watching him from a freshman. And, uh, you know, the, the things he did on the football field was, was outstanding. And that's something that when I got older, I wanted to re relate to or do or be like. So, you know, I want to say Antoine White and Terry Anthony. What would you say from Antoine's game? You said you were a freshman when he was uh -huh. here graduating. Uh -huh. What do you What do you vividly remember, and how did you try <laughs> to replicate what he did? You know what? I just remember every time he bust one for a touchdown, the little touchdown dance he did, and that's something that I always remember. So that's something that motivated me to want to be the guy that I am today. Not to put you on a spot, but do you remember how did, how his dance went? I mean, you know, it's, can you, can you, he, scored, he take it? off his helmet and do that. So you, once he did that, you know, that, that kind of motivated me to be to want to go out there and do the same thing. So, uh, you know, I give all my credit to him and uh, Terry Anthony. You know, when you're a freshman, you see a guy like that as an upperclassman. Mm -hmm. Do you do you view him? How do you, how do you view a guy like that? He's pretty much a mentor. He's a good guy on and off the field. And once you surround yourself and, and want to be like somebody like that, you, you know, the sky's the limit from, from that point on. What about your own recollections? You played here in you know, 93 to 96, or right, 95, right. I think it was. Right. Um, you know, what are your what are your favorite memories of your high school tenure? And um, I don't know. I just just remember just going out here and competing and giving all I had. You know, giving all I got. You know, that's pretty much sums me up. You know, just going out here and working hard and try to beat who else uh, who else the number one seeded team. You know. It's funny because like the way you described Antoine Wyatt, there are right. guys that describe you in the same way. I mean, that's what football is all about, man. You got younger guys that's looking through the older guys and want to be like us. So, you know, hats goes off to the older guys for, you know, performing well on the football field, on and off the field, you know. Is there a single play that you can recall that's like your signature mainland play? I mean, you know, I had so many of them, you know, it was – it was so many. Um, I was just, I just remember the great times here with the fellas, man. We had a good, we had so much fun, you know, on and off the field. That's the part I remember, you know. Do you have a favorite touchdown that you scored? Uh, be honest with you, man. I've been scoring so many touchdowns, I can't remember. Now nah, it's been so long ago, to be honest with you. So I mean, it's just the, the, the atmosphere here at Mainland was great. You know, I never forget that. When I talked to Travis, he also said that Kerry, when Kerry Kramer coached the Seabreeze, they used to keep you in the pocket. They wouldn't rush right. anybody. So, so <laughs> right, what, what right. do you remember about playing Seabreeze? <laughs> oh, man, that was a funny game. You know, I, I just remember me, the whole defensive line, just spying me. Everywhere I went, they went. So it was a little funny game. But at the end, they won. We lost. So, you know, I give my hats off to Seabreeze. Let's talk about your road after high school because a part of the thing we're going to be doing as well is you know what they did in high school, mm -hmm. where, where they went after high school, okay. what they're doing now. Okay. So, you know, after high school, you, you were signed to Clemson, if I'm not yeah, mistaken, I, and then Clemson. went to JUCO. Yes, so, how did that whole kind of thing go down? You know, I was kind of short on my ACT, so I decided to go to Hines Community College, uh, and been down. I mean, been down there with Coach Murphy and his staff. You know, they taught me a lot. You know, it's pretty much the discipline, man. You're in the bed at 11 o'clock. You know, you you out practice at seven. You know, it's pretty much a discipline thing that I think that's something I needed going into college. What are your What are your favorite memories about being at Bethune? I mean, it was kind of disappointing because I couldn't play football at the time. But trying to get your grades and trying to do what's right, trying to be a regular person, felt good too. You know, just trying to concentrate on grades too. So after that, you went into the Arena League. Mm -hmm. um, when you first really got involved with the arena league mm -hmm. how much of a transition was it to go from you know from lining up out wide or lining <laughs> up in the slot to have to having these running starts uh it was it was a lot different you know it's but i i watched the game before you know i i watched the game before i went out there and participated in it and i kind of said i i can do it and you know i went to tampa coach markham he gave me an opportunity at first i was playing defense which you know playing corner is like playing corner anywhere else and I kind of succeeded at that situation, and then they put me at a uh, defensive specialist. Played pretty good there, and I was really trying to work my way to the office end, and I I got the chance to work on the office side of the ball. And then you went on to become the all-time receptions leader in the Arena Football League. What what is uh, that? Something like that. <laughs> yeah. So when 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 you had that right when, when you had that um, mm -hmm. honor, you know, what did that mean to you to, to have that record? To be honest with you, nothing, because all records are meant to be broken. The same record I broke laid on down the line, somebody's gonna break my record. So at the end of the day, it's just the the passion for the sport that I give, that's what I 
I, I appreciate the most. You know, I just give it all I got when I'm out here. How much passion do you still have for arena football? A lot. I'm so hungry right now. You know, this year we won a championship, but I'm still hungry. I'm, I'm still out there trying to prove people that I can still play this game at a high level.